Rituals are important because they produce the social glue that holds societies together. And what we are beginning to understand is that not all rituals are the same. Different rituals produce different intensities of social glue. Um, and frankly, some uh, rituals have more lasting effects on the groups that perform them. Um, we know quite a lot about rituals as a consequence of observing them in the real world, uh, in the contemporary world, and studying people uh, performing uh, artificial rituals in the lab. Um, but until now, it's been impossible really to examine the role of rituals longitudinally over huge time depths. Um, and with the arrival of Seychat, this is now becoming possible. Some of the most exciting new hypotheses about the role of ritual in creating social cohesion focus on uh, the frequency and the emotional intensity of collective rituals. Um, we have a lot of reasons to suspect that in small face-to-face -face societies, uh, people are already pretty bonded with one another and when they need rituals it's very often to enable them to um, stand united in the face of uh, dangerous enemies for example where there's a very strong temptation to run away um, or to face other kinds of challenges which involve uh, a strong temptation basically to defect uh, for instance hunting very big and dangerous animals is another example um, so we find that in small communities that face those kinds of threats, we'd expect to find uh, very uh, intense rituals, the kind that produce long-lasting and uh, very powerful social glue. But you wouldn't want that kind of bonding going on in a large state, for example. It would be quite threatening to the authorities of a centralised um, political system to have lots of little groups that are essentially highly bonded and when threatened there's the risk that they will become dangerous. And indeed that seems to be the case in many countries divided by civil war. So in Seychat we're coding for five different kinds of rituals essentially. For each polity or political system coded for in the database we're looking for the largest scale rituals, in other words the ones that attract the largest numbers of participants in a single location. We're looking for the most widely distributed, that is to say the rituals that are performed by the greatest number of people in the polity as a whole. We're looking for the most frequent rituals, that's to say those that are performed on the most regular basis, daily for example or weekly. And we're looking for the most euphoric, the ones that are most enjoyable and exciting and pleasurable for participants. And finally we're looking for the most dysphoric, in other words the most painful or frightening for those who take part. And we think that all these different kinds of rituals contribute to social cohesion in different ways. That's an empirical question. Something that uh, Seychat can help us do is understand how, over many millennia, rituals have evolved to meet the changing needs of societies on different scales and with different levels of uh, social complexity uh, and internal sort of morphological structure.